Hello YouTube, Matthew Taylor here. All right, so where we are with my Mark V Golf GTI, I have had it for about six years and two months. Like the car, the car has actually been great. To be honest, my one thing with this particular <clears throat> motor vehicle is that when things break, yeah, they become exp um, they become a bit, what do you say, expensive to repair. And when I say break, I don't mean just the obvious engine transmission. Oh, this before I even uh, yeah. before I even begin. I think it's very important for me to actually say that I have actually replaced the transmission on this once before. I've actually had a timing belt failure um, occur back in 2019, I think January 26, 2019 to be specific, but who's counting? And with that, all right, well, let me go, with, um, let me go back to the very beginning. So we're, I've had, so this is a 2008 uh, model, right hand drive. Uh, this vehicle is what would have been a vehicle that a uh, previous owner had purchased from the dealership and so I got it configured um, as is now uh, you know typical heated seats all right let's talk about um, features so tire pressure monitoring system heated seats headlight um, washer um, heated nozzles yeah, the, the works and um, what you get with the Mark V um, Golf GTI, but would have had all the options. Did some stuff like retrofit, um, <clears throat> retrofit Mark VI GTI air conditioning um, knob, Mark VI GTI steering wheel, Mark VI Golf R instrument cluster, Mark VI Jetta. Head unit. So let me show you what how to give you an idea of what we're talking about here. So Mark 6 um, GTI steering wheel, Mark 6 Golf R instrument cluster, Mark 6 Jetta radio or head unit, Mark 6 GTI air conditioning. So let's yeah, so everything actually yeah everything's fully functional, all buttons actually work. May mute this for copyright reasons, YouTube. Um, copyright reasons, I'm not um, flagged for anything today. So, this is what it actually, um, what it actually is. But I've had this car for six, well, I've already been through that six years, um, two months, and in that, I've consumed um, the car has consumed about. 1.3 million dollars worth of petrol in in total um, <clears throat> purchased this vehicle for about nine hundred and sixty dollars um I'm oh, sorry nine hundred and sixty thousand dollars um out of pocket but due to um, expenses and all the paperwork it came up to about 1.28 million um, dollars Jamaican there about I'll put the US equivalent at that present point at, at that point in time somewhere here 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 or somewhere on the screen and with that I've had a dent in the passenger side of the vehicle ouch it happens but yeah and ironically it was a record um a record truck of all vehicles that actually hit me in the side um, of the vehicle but this car is actually a very comfortable easy car to drive um pretty easy to park it's a bit on the wide side compared to my previous um vehicles so i'm coming from a line of hondas if you want to call it that i've had a on the Civic, had a Honda Fit, actually now in the process of uh, doing a, getting a Honda Grace. But 
I will be parting with this particular vehicle on the basis that it's, it's really just aging and of course with European parts as they age things start to fall apart finally drop in the Franken Turbo F23T which would be around similar pretty similar to the Borg Warner K0 4064 found in the Golf R um, units there and several other models like the Audi S3 I took the opportunity to do the um, <coughs> Audi S3 injectors as well and then flashed a uridine tune for that oh so uridine is a tuning solution that I actually um, like using I must forewarn you that customer service with uridine is not the best where you can set the only way of contacting them is by email you can write several paragraphs describing your actual issue and in the process at the for the response if you get a response it to just be a one word um, response or it to be like a sentence that says uh, just use the files that are there and it's kind of weak or you get a response that says talk to your tuno when what the reality is that you start explaining that you are um, you are the tuner tuning and um, doing tuning the car yourself and you're having this particular yeah, tuning the car yourself and you're having this particular issue um, with the vehicle and as such no we have this being a very annoying problem to very annoying problem to deal with so customer service with them but not to talk about the tuning process uh, this car I would say it's it's a car which because of the way I drive it I will go through front tires pretty um, pretty quickly I'm always um, launching the vehicle aggressively and you have tire wear suspension components on this vehicle can also um, fail quickly on the basis that well this is Jamaica our roads are not perfect riddled with a whole lot of potholes and on that basis yeah we'll be I will be going through tires literally like crazy every couple months yeah we just doing, um, be going through tires also to this battery this car actually consumes um, battery so it, it took this car ever since I got it has had some sort of unexpected parasitic drain parasitic drain in that it you will be driving the car um yeah you will park the car um for weeks 
no, sorry, that's that's not, that's an exaggeration now. If you leave a car unused for a few days, the battery lasts fine. The battery will start the car as normal. You can leave the car for parked overnight. Next morning, battery dead. You can leave the car parked five minutes. And depending on what you're doing, battery, the car gets a very slow start. So it kind of makes me wonder, hmm, is there an issue with the alternator that I don't know about? But during the diagnostic testing, the, uh, the what you call it, alternator seems good. I've replaced, so I think I've gone through at least six batteries since I have gotten, I've had this car. So, th so typically the lifespan um, for, um, for the batteries that you get in this car, typically for me, has been about eight months. Like every eight months I have to buy a battery. But why, why it has been this case for me, I've been using this local brand called Tropical, Tropical Battery, which, boy, these vehicles in Tropical Batteries, yeah, it's not a good, com um, not really a good combination in my opinion. But Tropical Battery gives a, locally, gives a, have a prorated warranty period. And on that basis, Sorry, my phone's. Sorry, my phone's listening to our conversation here. Um. Right. So with that in mind, yeah. So every time I've actually bought a battery, I then have to go through the process of um, yeah, buy a battery on the warranty. The warranty is for a period of two years. But in that two years, the battery fails. I would then take it back and pay the difference from a prorated warranty and uh, yeah to so on and so forth and I decided you know what let me just go to switch to Optima the Optima Rev Top um, battery series that's the that falls in the 35 category it was not it was smaller in dimensions than a standard battery but I was able to get it to hold on it it, it does start a car um, quite fine I'll, I will admit to that the one thing though is that my pet peeve is because it doesn't bolt down to the car properly I ended up replacing it with an ever ready um, green unit but to be fair there is a parasite draw I believe that exists in this vehicle that I really I've just decided not to fix because it does not seem to affect me at least. What I'll do is just walk, I just walk around with a one of those portable jump start um, DIY jump start kits that it has a battery, um, it has a lithium polymer um, battery inside. You just connect it to your terminals and boom, the car starts and you're good to go. So I, I'm not interested in looking back at the original problem that I had been experiencing with that battery issue. But I would consider this vehicle to be a good, um, good vehicle for anyone to buy um, overall, meaning uh, Mark V GTI. If I had it, if I had to do it all over again, I would have probably saved up a bit more money and just have bought a Mark VI GTI instead. Although I do prefer the look of the um, Mark V personally. Although the timing belt um, issues just got annoying to deal with. So the timing belt has to be changed periodically and also to the for the high pressure fuel pump that tap it there is a tap it that has to be replaced what we call we call it the cam follow they call it refer to the cam follow has to actually be um, replaced from time to time because it just wears out like all these mechanical things would um in i believe in uh vw's original design they didn't th um, look at it as a serviceable part a part that you just replace you just take it to the dealer they do the inspection 
inspection but it apparently was not supposed to wear out because you would have just been using the recommended castrol 